Hey guys, this is Mark Rodriguez. And this is Johnny Rodriguez. And you're watching the last level of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, the arcade game for Nintendo in this episode of Retro Fighters. And as usual, the last level of any Ninja Turtle game is the Technodrome. And I'm the first player, Michelangelo. And I'm Donatello, the second player. Now we're kicking ass here in the Technodrome, we're beating up all these foot soldiers. I always thought the music was so awesome in this particular stage. So cool. Of course, our arcade version's better. Yeah, I know, but you have to admit, Nintendo did do a decent job of copying the music, more or less. You blew up these things, I gotta watch out for this laser. And of course, the are in the way, so you have to, you know, fight them while trying to avoid the laser. Yeah. There you go, you beat these guys up, because this is it, man, this is the final stage here. Well, I kind of messed up, because some of the later levels, later games start doing this whole Krang spaceship thing because you know when I watched the cartoon I remember Krang having a spaceship, right? I don't know why they uh added that in Turtles 3 and Turtles in Time, but um okay, you know. I guess Krang had to do something in this time spare time. Yeah, I know. Here we are being up more foot soldiers. The foot soldiers that are trained in the art of Taekwondo, apparently. Yeah, but okay. don't yeah, I don't know. I think it would be very dangerous fighting a whole bunch of foot soldiers that are fighting like um, Kim Kaplan. And here's these freezing things. Now watch out. Oh, okay, I guess we passed the test. Yeah, you know, I, I saw that um, in the Wreck-It Ralph thing, and like the traders, like there's an arcade game, one of them looks like the Ninja Turtle arcade game. Wow. I just don't know why, like they kind of blurred up or something, or maybe it's not so focused. You know, I think something's out of focus. You can't see the exact title or whatever, it's kind of blurry, but yeah, it's the Turtle 4 player arcade game. Hmm, that's cool. And now we got these little whatever the fuck they are walking around. Do were they in the arcade them? game? Yes, yes, but they were not in the cartoon or none. Those were just made up. And they come back in um, Turtle Street Manhattan Project too. Where right the hell these little fuckers are? I guess they love them. Yep, but they're not they're not in a cartoon, they're just made up. So weird. I think I think yeah, and the arcade were probably a bit bigger and you know, they take more because yeah, everything here seems to take two or three hits in the arcade. I mean come on, the arcade you really have to kick some ass of those foot soldiers. They don't they do not die in two hits. You really have to smack them around, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's these things here. Let's see what's next. Oh crap, these gun foot soldiers. Damn it. Oh fuck! Yeah, they're horrible. They they really drain and the you life. You only got one energy. life bar left there. Mm -hmm. I oh boy, see how long you can survive. Probably gonna die in a few minutes. I know. And there's some pizza later on. You just gotta survive the the bowling ball part. You can get some pizza. Oh crap! Oh, you didn't survive. <laughs> Um, what the hell? You're just getting beat up there. Move, man. But they're everywhere. I, they're smacking you when you're just standing there. It's like, stop, stop smoking the good shit. You hear people in First Friday were all smoking the good shit or something and focus on what you're... Okay, okay, you're getting zapped, you're getting blasted. It's like... Holy crap. Nah, this laser's bad. Dog. This one's really in the way. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. I think in the arcade you can keep walking. Here, you're basically you're really stuck here. You're stuck here until whenever you kill these guys. Oh, it is a Nintendo. Oh crap! Come on, guys, die already! Damn it! Okay. Oh, more of them? Them? Yeah, this is made up for the home version because we only fought that once, I think, in the ar arcade. You don't fight twice. Hmm. It's like here's everything. It's like there's two stairs of bowling balls, there's two cars that come down, and now there's two of these ice things. Everything got kind of repeated twice or something to make the game twice as long. Which has to be kind of frustrating because, you know. I was so confused when we first played this game, we, we first like rented, I was saying, what the? Like, we didn't do this twice, did we? Huh, we're lucky we have to. We don't have to go down two elevators avoiding, avoiding the fucking bowling balls twice. Oh, that would have been horrible. And where does Shredder get these giant ass bowling balls? Is Bureau of Rocksteady up there throwing the bowling balls down the elevator or some shit? Like... I have no idea. Yeah, well, anyways, I got the pizza. Got a few more of these gun foot soldiers. Very annoying. I just gotta jump because they shoot your feet and everything. Oh, crap. 
I really wish you could slam the characters against the wall like it's in the arcade version. Mm -hmm. These foot soldiers are so douchey, they deserve to be slammed up against the wall, damn it. My god, the Pizza Hut sign is in every day, I remember. It would've been so crappy if there's a Pizza Hut sign in the Technodrome. It's like, wow, now we know what Shredder eats out when he's, um, you know, not busy taking over the world and crap. You can order some Pizza Hut, right? Well, you never know. Maybe okay, now we got, um, more of those Road to Rodney's. We're getting there, guys. Almost getting to the end there. Oh yeah, we just gotta kill them. Yep, he's them. Yeah. All these enemies only come out like in one episode and like they keep coming back in all these old turtle games. Well, the old ones anyways, you know, of course they don't come back in the newer ones. It really sucks how you can't get the Turtles arcade game anymore or reshell because of whatever reason. I guess because Nickelodeon owns the Turtles now and Ubisoft lost the license. But wow, man, oh. that, that really sucks. I don't know. I don't know, you guys out there, you, you probably know more about this than we do, but I don't know. It's like, if you downloaded the game, is the game still in your system, or do you lose it later or some shit? Because that would really suck. I mean, if I already paid for it, and I had downloaded it, I mean, it, it fucking better still be in my system. I don't care if the license wore out or whatever. Well, it should be in the system, honestly. Crap. Oh, crap! Damn Taekwondo foot soldiers! Yeah, since they know That don't Taekwondo. use Taekwondo, but whatever. Fucking, look uh, at this crap. Yeah, they're, they're down, they're really coming down fierce, aren't they? There's just way too many enemies now. Well, I guess. It's still 3 well, by 3 many, but, so but just, they're still... But they're, they're aggressive, they, they act like, you know, the way they're beating you up, they almost feels like you're having more. Look at this crap. And fucking choke hold, sleeper hold foot soldiers. Watching too much wrestling with the sleeper holes. Mm -hmm. Okay, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way! Watch out for the door. Damn! You want to be in the way of that one. So oh, this yeah. is General Trag here. And he's got a fucking missile launcher and shit on your ass. And he smacks you and everything. And of course, um, trying to get too close to the door there. Because you still get electrified by the door. So that's another thing. You gotta be like, this, this jerk. You gotta watch out for his missiles. You gotta, like, not get zapped by the door. Yeah, that's a lot of shit. But damn, look at that, look at that, we're laying smack down on this guy. Oh crap, you died again. Oh crap, I'm dead. Okay, whatever, now let's get to smack down. That's what's cool, you're always kind of invincible for a few seconds when you come back to life. So come on, let's put smack down on this bitch. Do you remember um, the arcade virtual was like, BUST THE TURTLES! And he saw shooting your ass. Oh, I remember in the arcade, it took much longer to defeat him. I think so. Because I think he would change different... No, that was the other one. That was oh, the, the earlier one. Oh, okay. Crap, we keep dying. So I think continuing the game, like, you can't, like, um... Change, um, you know, turtles. Or, I mean, we're basically Mike and Don for the whole episode, for the whole, you know, whole series of this game, because you can't switch turtles. There uh, you go, now you're dead. Alright. Here we go, guys. The final battle. And this stage, I don't even think this counts as a stage because this is basically level 10. But come on, what's what's level 10? You're basically being a crank and being a shredder, so that's not like a full level. But anyways, there's Krang there, um, in front of a dimensional portal, little brain there inside the thing. And he's based on the you know cartoon show. Yeah, the basic idea. Of the Ultrams, weird aliens that are inside robot bodies, so that's when they got the idea to put Krang. It's just that, um, Ultrams are always good guys, and, you know, Krang's a bad guy. And now this new Nickelodeon cartoon, the, the Ultrams are called the Krang, and they're bad guys. So yeah, it's pretty um, interesting how they keep doing this. Hmm. But yeah, that's where they got the general idea of Krang being inside the robot's stomach and everything. And making them evil, you know. It's, it's weird because they're just aliens, but you know, Krang. I mean, he literally was like a like a brain. You know, it's not just looks like it. He was a brain. The real Ultrams are just weird little things that kind of sort of look like brains. Mm -hmm. Um, what the fuck? You're dead. I'm uh, alone. Uh, the hell? Uh, no. What? When the hell did you die on me? Let's continue, guys. And here we go again! Yep, with 10 lives! 
No, well, 10 lives, these guys are going down. Now, you see, this is the only reason that we did the, the, the 10 life code, okay? The only reason, because I can basically beat the whole game by myself with 3 lives and whatever, you know? But there is just no way. These guys are too fucking cheesy. There's no way for me to defeat Krang and Shredder with 3 lives. Because Krang always takes away at least one life. Okay. More than one line. I know, and then and then you gotta somehow defeat Shredder. I don't know. I mean, I I don't know. Maybe you guys are super hardcore. Maybe you guys defeat them without it. I just give you mad props if you're able to do this. But yeah, wow. This these guys are like, they're, they're just they're just abusing. Oh, in the arcade it's worse because I I don't remember, but in the arcade version, like whatever life you have left, that's how you start off the next level. And here's oh, different. Wow. Here in every in every level you start, like level two, level two, whatever, you start off with like your energy bars like like you know, refilled. And in the arcade, no. Oh, that's the end of Krang. Krang's going down. I'm invincible. Shut up. You can smack him right there and that's it. You know, smack his face. Just cut his brain in half. <laughs> okay, here's the shredder. Oh, oh, oh. Oh boy, two shredders. Now remember in the arcade version, it was fucking like four, like eight shredders, I think. If it was like all four, I don't know, probably even more. Oh shit, watch out. Oh, watch out. Oh. Yeah, that's a thing. He, he shoots you with the lightning, and you mutate back into your normal turtle self, and that is a one-hit kill, guys. If that mm -hmm. hits you, you're dead. I don't care if your life bar is full, I don't care if you just got back into life or whatever, if that thing hits you, you're dead right away. Mm -hmm. And then of course there's two shredders. The thing is, that, well, I mean, there's basically two ways to kill them, but whatever. I mean, the hard way is to um knock off the helmet off one shredder. That's the fake shredder, and then like just try to attack the other shredder as much as possible while ignoring the guy without the helmet, because you know the guy with the helmet is the real shredder. And when you kill him, that's it. That's one way you do it. Mm -hmm. And the easier way is just whatever. I mean, just keep kicking ass until he dies. Because I know that every time you kill the fake Shredder, um, it multiplies. But I mean, sooner or later, the other Shredder is going to die anyway. So whatever, you know? But right now, we're doing a good job. Michelangelo's really kicking ass on, on the original Shredder right there. As long as you don't hit the guy without the mask. Oh shit, watch out. Yeah, another thing is that the guy without the mask can't do that beam thing anymore. You don't have to worry about him doing that shit. Just the real Shredder is the only one that can do the one hit kill crap. Mm -hmm. Come on, Bunga, dude! You're going down, man! Oh shit! Watch out! Look at that crap. Oh shit! You hit someone hit him! Oh crap! And more Shredder fun. Of course, you notice how Shredder's such more dangerous and more kick-ass in the game compared to the cartoon with all the. You never let me have any fun. Yeah, the cartoon Shredder. Let the Turtles go! No, I don't want to. Yes, you will. No, I won't. I won't. I won't. I mean, oh my god. Yeah, it's like I understand if they wanted to go to the whole, you know, comedy sense of the. But that's the direction they wanted to go to. But come on, the enemies also. Yeah, I know. And of course, for the few people that don't know, that shame on you for not knowing. But the actor of Uncle Phil from Fresh Prince of Bel Air does the voice of the Shredder in the old days. And well, hey, he did, he did a good performance. I mean, Shredder was probably one of the funnier guys in the show too. You know, you know. Of course, nowadays Shredder is nothing to laugh at. The 2003 cartoon was very dangerous, especially in Turtles Forever. And oh shit, there we go. And of course, the Nickelodeon version, he also looks very mm -hmm. dangerous. So yeah, sure, it's not a comical thing. Okay, look at, look at, no more clones. Yes. This is, oh shit, we got him. Yes. And let's get out of here. It's gonna destroy itself. What? Ah! ah some blowing up and shit. I hope the got out in time, cause I don't see him anywhere. Oh shit, we all died. The end. Everybody died. The end. No, I still have your name and. The Epilogue. Freak the foots, mangled the mousers, and tore the technodrome. Now that's turtle power. But what about the Shredder and Krang? Burn the toast, vaporize the milkshake, or escape to Dimension X? Until we know, none of us can sleep safe can sleep safely. Sorry, in our beds or er, shells. I'm sorry, but when the thing says that's turtle power, it's like T U R T L E power, T U R T L E power, T U R T. I don't know. I forgot his name. I really gotta look it up again. Damn, I forgot his name. 
But the thing is, I don't remember him singing like any other whatever song besides that one, you know? Mm -hmm. But the funny thing is that I remember the music video that was based on it, and one scene had two cute little girls flash their panties. Because because the, the panties said turtles on it, you know, so they're like so they kind of dance. They stop zooming on their butt, their butts as they flash the panties as turtles, and it's like whoa, all right. It's like it's like remember guys, the turtles was a kid thing back in the '80s, so it's like you know kids are watching this. So wow, a lot of kids hit puberty that day when you put that video. Mm -hmm. I remember because that video, I remember they showed it once on Channel 50. Because Channel 50 was Channel Show of Turtles. Like one time they had like a turtle, whatever the fuck thing, and you know, like, I guess it ended a few minutes too early, so they actually showed the videos. But the thing is that um, wow, you know, the, the panties and stuff. Because yeah, because those videos were never shown on MTV or not. I remember that um, the Yaku K video was shown on MTV back then, but the uh, other videos weren't. So I don't know how people can saw the videos, but those those are pretty cool videos. And that song, that song still rocks, except for the the whole call Raphael's the leader crap. That was a little bit of a slip up, but you know, you know how it is. You gotta make the words rhyme or whatever. Mm -hmm. Anyways, all this is different. I don't think I forgot momentarily how it looks like in the arcade, but it did not look like this. It looked different. I mean, I remember it was, it was sort of the basic idea of the turtle pictures and whatever, but I don't remember like the turtle blimp in the background or I don't know. But anyways, I can just yeah, that's it. It's just ultra already. That's the end. So anyways, guys, that's the end of um this episode of Retro Fighters. As we finish yet another game, the classic Turtles 2 the arcade game for Nintendo. Shredder is laughing because Shredder knows he's gonna keep coming back for more. I'm Mark Rodriguez. I'm Johnny Rodriguez. And we'll see y'all next, next time. time. Yeah.